Hey everybody, uh, Chris Blackshear here. Uh, in kind of a bad mood today, I dropped five bucks on a cup of coffee. It's ludicrous. Anyway, to cheer myself up, I had to pop in a horror flick, a little low budget horror. I chose this release by Troma called Grim. Uh, it's written and directed by Adrian Santiago. Uh, and this is a pretty top notch. Uh, horror flick for the low budget out of Troma and Larry Kaufman, a uh, little uh, company, independent company. Uh, I, was, I was pretty uh, impressed and uh, entertained. This is a 2010 release, uh, and it, uh, they did a pretty good job. Uh, it's, a, it's a story of a young kid named Nicholas Grimm. Uh, opening scene, he's riding with his parents in the back of a pickup truck. Um, they're being held hostage. Uh, it's got a few guys with uh, guns take him out in the uh, out in the country, and he has to witness his dad getting uh, pummeled to death. Uh, these two guys start pounding with a pipe wrench and uh, and another lead pipe. They they just start just whacking the crap out of him. Uh, it looks so realistic. It's just a really a awesome opening scene. Uh, very bloody and looks very real. Uh, very, 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 very well done in, in that regards. Uh, and it turns out the, the story it's it's about a group of basically hicks out in Texas that are rebelling against the U.S. government. Uh, they're called the UAB, uh, United American Brigade. Uh, anyway, uh, they're, they're rebelling against the government because of uh, corruption and whatnot. Imagine that. But uh, this movie really doesn't focus too much on the reasons why, or uh, doesn't really have any other government involvement or any sort of uh, authoritative uh, uh, figures that they're fighting against. Really, all the fighting is amongst the rebels. So it's the rebels fighting against rebels throughout the movie. Uh, but anyway, Nicholas, back to Nicholas, he watches his father get pulled to death and his mother, they get uh, both get shot and killed. So he's uh, just a young kid out, out in the middle of nowhere. Um, luckily, uh, a farmer uh, nearby stumbles uh, across him and brings him home to mama and asks, uh, hey, can we keep him? And uh, they, they, they raise him. I'm not sure why they didn't take him to the cops or whatever, but anyway, they raise him to be a man. And I mean, he seeks revenge against the uh, evildoers that wiped out his uh, family. So anyway, this is low budget. There's some really good bloody scenes. I, I mentioned that uh, the, the bloody kills early in the film. There's also some moments of torture, uh, like fing fingernails getting ripped out. Uh, some good, some good bloody gunshots and some pretty decent action. Go with the uh, with the cheesy. Uh, Acting and everything, it is it is low budget, uh, but uh, it's it's pretty 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 decent uh, debut film by Adrian Santiago. Uh, hope hope to see some more stuff from him, and I'm glad Chomo picked this up and was able to uh, distribute it. So I'd probably give it I'd, I'd give it uh, six and a half out of ten. It is very solid. Had some plot holes and stuff, and a few moments that kind of lagged, but uh, overall it's pretty pretty entertaining. So. Uh, if you're a fan of low budget horror films, I highly recommend this. And uh, that's about it. Hope you have a great day. I am Chris Blackshear with Horror Happy Hour. Uh, neuter and spay your demons, and keep your horror fiction. Thank you.